Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna try out a new drugstore CC cream that my husband actually found for me at Walmart. He ran into Walmart to grab something for himself and then he walked by the end cap of the makeup section and FaceTimed me and was like, is this new? Do you have this? And he bought this for me to try out and I'm really excited actually. This is from Neutrogena. It's the Flawless Matte CC Cream Clear Coverage. It has niacinamide in it, which a lot of us love. I hadn't seen anybody talk about this, but I was on like Neutrogena's website and there have been reviews that have been posted on this from like two months ago. So it's pretty new um, within the last few months at least. I personally had never heard about this before. So I'm on the Neutrogena website. This retails for $14.99 straight from Neutrogena. Pretty sure it was cheaper than that at Walmart. And I saw on target.com, it was like $12.99. So drugstore prices vary depending on the retailer. But let me read what this claims to do. So this is supposed to be a matte CC cream that's developed for acne prone skin specifically. So that was exciting. Um, it has niacinamide in it. It's a clean formula without oil, fragrance, parabens, SLS, SLES, sulfates, and phthalates. It's supposed to be full coverage with a matte finish and it's non-comedogenic. It's also hypoallergenic. So yeah, there's quite a few things that I'm really intrigued by. At Walmart, there were only like 10 or 12 shades. On Neutrogena's website, you'll see here, some of the shades are available. Some of the shades are coming soon, it says, when you click on them. So they launched with like 10 or 12. It looks like they're gonna be expanding to more. Let me count how many there will be. Okay, so I'm counting 34 shades once all of them are launched. So that's a pretty good shade range for a drugstore CC cream. Um, my husband picked up two shades for me. There's the Shell 1.0 and Porcelain 2.0. So I think I'm gonna be Shell. We're just gonna go straight into this and try it out. Um, I don't know if there's a certain way to apply it. Let me check the website and see if they recommend a certain way. How to use. For a flawless look, dab cream lightly onto face. Blend using gentle strokes in an upward and outward motion. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. It's a squeezy tube applicator. I'm gonna dollop this on the back of my hand. The shades, the undertones kind of look a little off, I'll be honest. This one I feel like will work for me, but it's a little bit more on the pink side. And then the um, Porcelain 2.0 is very, very warm. So I think this will be my better bet out of the two, but neither are perfect matches for me. At least not yet, there's not a perfect match for me. I know they had couple of shades in between that might be eventually my perfect match. But I'm just gonna go ahead and dot this on the skin. Oh my gosh, there's tons of coverage immediately. So it said to dot lightly. I really don't know how much of this to use. It says it's gonna be pretty full coverage. Maybe we'll start with that much. There's still quite a bit on the back of my hand, but I don't wanna overdo it. So I'm just gonna blend this out all over the skin. Okay, once I'm blending this out, the shade actually isn't bad at all. I think it matches me perfectly actually. So I'm just gonna continue to blend this out with my brush. I mean, that wasn't that much product at all and it's giving me really great coverage. I do wanna kind of layer it up a little more over top of my cheeks, because that's where I have a lot of redness. So I'm gonna pick up a little extra on the brush for the cheeks and then take some down the neck as well. You know, I've always really enjoyed so many of Neutrogena's complexion products, like their, um, what's it called? The the Hydra Boost Tint is one of my favorites, and then also the Healthy Foundation. There's like a brush hair on my face. Um, I've loved those for so long, so, you know, Neutrogena complexion products have worked well on me in the past, so I'm really excited to try this. They also launched color correctors, but they were out of the shade that would work for me at my Walmart, so I figured I would just test this out first, and then, you know, if I come across my shade in the color corrector later. I can always try that in another video. Okay, well this is looking and feeling really nice on the skin. Let's go ahead and look up close. Okay, so this gave me great coverage. I would say that it is feeling a little bit more matte, but it's not like a crusty drying matte finish. Um, I am noticing that my pores are looking a little bit emphasized right here in the T-zone. But other than that, I really do like how that applied. And yeah, the coverage is great. So yeah, here's what it looks like up close. I'm excited to see how this wears. I wanted to stick to Neutrogena, so I'm gonna use the Radiant Cream Concealer. This is such a good concealer from the drugstore. Um, this is in the shade, what shade is this? Ivory Light One. I'm gonna focus this just underneath the eyes. I really want 
to be able to see the CC cream all over the rest of the face. So I'm not gonna put it over blemishes just because I feel like honestly I got great coverage out of that CC cream. So I don't feel the need to cover up with a concealer. Okay, so now that we have concealer on, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and speed through, do a really quick kind of everyday look, and then we'll get into a wear test because I am wanting to get as much wear time out of this as possible to really see how I feel about it. So I will be right back with the rest of my makeup done and then we'll get started on my wear test. Okay, so my makeup is done. I actually used all drugstore products. I'll have everything listed and linked down below if you wanna know what exactly I used to do the rest of my makeup. I was looking back on their website and there's not really any claims as far as longevity goes on this. I did wanna mention I actually really appreciate how there's not a sunscreen in here because for me, especially being someone who actually has acne prone skin, chemical screens can sometimes irritate my skin. So when dealing with breakouts, I usually steer clear of products that have a chemical sunscreen in it. So it's nice to know that I could just layer this on top of my personal sunscreens, my favorites that I know work for me and don't break me out. I like how it's simplified that way and you don't have to worry about it like irritating your acne, which is really cool. That was apparently that's kind of like the point of this. And I love how there's niacinamide in it as well, which actually I have found to work really well over not just like post hyperpigmentation, like scarring, but the actual blemish itself, niacinamide usually calms it down for me personally. So I'm excited about this, you guys. Obviously, let's go ahead and wear it. It definitely feels matte on the skin, especially since I did set the entire face with powder. That's just how I like to do my makeup. I didn't put any highlighter on because I really wanna see when my oils come through, how it ends up looking. Um, so I kept it pretty matte on purpose, but so far so good. I do feel like the coverage was great. It doesn't feel too heavy on the skin, but it definitely feels like it's dried down and pretty matte, which is you know what it claimed to do. So I'm excited about this. I really like the idea of having something from the drugstore, especially that's great for acne prone skin. So fingers crossed that this wears well. Let's go ahead and do a wear test. It is pretty late. Wow, I didn't realize how late it was, but. You know me, I like to stay up a little bit later, so it's actually 6.30 p.m. I'm gonna stay up as late as I possibly can, wear this for as many hours as possible to really get a feel for how it works and how it wears on me, but guys, so far so good. And actually that shade that I was iffy on, I find it actually looks really nice. So let's go ahead and do a wear test. I will see you guys in my first check-in. All right, so this is my first check-in. I just barely came upstairs, wanted to show you guys what it looked like in natural light. Um, so far, so good. Obviously, a wear test is gonna matter most, but I really do like how balanced my skin looks. Again, that more matte finish is kind of nice, especially for acne-prone skin, because a lot of times people who deal with acne tend to have more oily skin. Um, that's the case for me in the T-zone, not so much the sides of my face, but I'm excited to see how this wears. So far, so good, you guys. Like, I'm excited, but I don't wanna get too ahead of myself, because you just never know how things will wear, and sometimes for me with a matte, or mattifying product, my skin overcompensates and looks more oily than it does with hydrating foundations. So fingers crossed it doesn't do that because I really like how it looks right now. So I'll see you guys in a little bit for my next check-in. All right, you guys, so I'm back in my studio. It's currently 1.40 in the morning, so almost two in the morning, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired, but I really wanted to make sure I got in seven hours at least of a wear test. So here's where we're at with the foundation. I definitely have a pretty dewy complexion in the T-zone. I was kind of expecting this, especially since it was more of a mattifying product. This tends to happen with my skin. It's just a trend, so not ideal, but it is what it is. And usually if I were choosing to wear something like this, I would have touched up throughout the day and kind of patted down the oils. I don't like to do that in wear tests just to make sure you guys can really see how things wear. Um, but I do notice that everywhere else, besides like right up against the edge of my nose, which by the way, I sneezed a few times earlier today and I was like trying not to wipe my foundation off. I had like an allergy attack just out of the blue. And so I tried not to wipe anything off, but it kind of separated a little bit. Um, but besides that area, everything else seemed to stay intact pretty well. So yeah, it's a pretty good foundation as far as staying intact. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of powder to the skin. I really am just curious to see how this would refresh. So I'm gonna take some of that RCMA powder that I used. Let's do just one side of the face first. So I'm just gonna press this into the face and immediately that just refreshes it so nicely. So that's good to know. If you are like me and for some reason you tend to get a little more oily with mattifying products, ironically, um, it is good to know that this does touch up really nicely, wow. Yeah, besides the sides of the nose, that looks really great. I think I would give this foundation 
a score of like an eight out of 10, just because there's some areas where it feels like it's clinging to dry areas. And also the fact that it did get pretty oily in the T-zone for me. So pretty good, maybe even like a seven and a half. Like, yeah, I would say between a seven and an eight for ranking on a scale of one to 10 for me. I really did love the coverage that this gave. I could see though, because of how much coverage it gives right off the bat, it probably would be easy to overdo it. So I would recommend going in like, like it said on the website, going in with a small amount first and just kind of seeing how it builds up because there is a ton of coverage, so you don't need that much. So I really did like that. I liked the balanced look that it gave me for the first few hours without touching up, so that was really nice. Um, but it's not my absolute favorite foundation that I've ever put on my skin. I don't think it looks bad by any means, but I do own so many foundations at this point where I really do notice when something stays balanced on my skin throughout the day versus getting super oily or you know being a little bit more high maintenance that way for me. So for that reason, I've docked off a couple of points, but overall, you guys, I feel like it's a good option. I really did love how it was formulated for acne prone skin. I think there's something to that that a lot of people will resonate with, especially something at the drugstore. So yeah, I wish I had this, you know, a few years ago when I was really, really dealing with crazy active breakouts. Something like this would have been really nice to know that it wouldn't hurt my skin, like it would be formulated to not irritate my acne, if that makes sense, because that's always like a risk. And those of you with acne know this, you know, it's like you want to cover up the acne at boost your confidence to wear a foundation, but it's so hard if something irritates it even more. So yeah, I really like the concept behind this. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this. I would love to know, but overall, I mean, I was not mad at this foundation. I thought it was really, really nice. I would love to know in the comments if there is somebody with oily skin that has tried this that tends to do well with mattifying products. Let me know how it worked for you because again, for some reason, my skin, overproduces oil when I have mattifying products. That's just how it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try out some new things from the drugstore. There's some new little gems that are popping up at the drugstore. Not too many things, but I actually did buy another drugstore foundation that I will be trying in a couple of weeks, hopefully, depending on when it gets here. So yeah, I'm really happy with how things looked overall today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.